Good morning, folks. Welcome back on this beautiful Sunday morning. Uh, today I got a short video for you. It's uh, how I uh, set up the rain barrel in my backyard. And uh, yeah, it didn't take much time at all. So uh, let's, uh, let's get started. Okay, so here's the rain barrel that uh, I recently installed. Um, the actual barrel uh, neighbor gave to me. Uh, just needed some uh, minor adjustments. Uh, and it's, I had to install a uh, little bit of hardware onto it. As you can see, it's just a regular barrel. We got uh, the hole in the top. Uh, we got the uh, tap in the bottom here, <clears throat> hooked up to a hose. So all I did was uh, I uh, made the hole a little bit bigger in the bottom so I could force the tap into it. Um, then I attached the hose to it. And uh, over on the side here, I didn't want the water overflowing over the top. Uh, so I put a little bit of I put an overflow ABS uh, fitting on the side here. Again, I just had to um, make the, the, the hole was uh, just a little bit smaller so I could force the fitting into it. And then I attached that to the downspout going out into the lawn because the barrel fills up quite quickly uh, once uh, we get a good uh, rainfall. So basically all I use it for is to water the flowers and the plants. Uh, yeah, and I mean, here in Ontario where I live, uh, we pay for the water, so uh, this is uh, hopefully save a few bucks. And uh, yeah, this way I don't have to use the tap water, the, the, the house water. So for the top here, all I used was a uh, screening uh, from an old repair that I did on the patio door. So I just had some leftover screening, put it over the top with a bungee cord, and that's just to keep the debris coming from the downspout. Uh, the debris from the gutters falling into the barrel so it uh, stays on top keeps the barrel nice and clean and it doesn't clog up the, uh, the, 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 the the tap so yeah so uh, it cost me I think it was twelve dollars in the, for the fittings and uh, yeah that's it so uh, that's it for that. So yeah, hit the like button, please, and um, the subscribe button. That would be awesome. And uh, catch you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.